Hello everyone, everything to know about Officinalis in 3 minutes. And uh, sorry for my French accent. Bon allez, on y va! Top chrono! Officinalis is a game of old observation and communisms that is played from 7 years old. You can play 2 or 3, in which case, the players each play for himself and plays themselves as they want. Or 2 vs 2, and in this case, the players of the same team plays themselves diagonally. The game lasts 30 minutes, approximately. The game consists of 49 cards that display each of the values minus 3 to 10. The youngest player is designated as the donor. He distributes face down one picker card to each of the players who looks at it without showing it to the other. With two players, he removes familiar's rivers and previous cards of the game. He mixes then does that remain before distributing 14 to each player. With three players, he only removes the rivers and previous cards. He mixes and distributes 12 to each. With four players, it is more simple. He removes nothing at all. It mixes and distributes 12. The remaining cards are placed face up next to the play area and the donor chooses among them the only renowned that will be the trump card for this round. The donor plays a card and the following players do the same by respecting the environment of the first card. If he has played a forest card, they too must play a forest card. At the end of the round, whoever played the Agus card wins the harvest. If a player has not card of the middle asks, he must play a trump card. The trump is always stronger than any other card. If multiple trumps are played, the stronger one wins. If a player has neither a card of the middle requested nor a trump, he must still discard a card. If you play the Mesonus Officinalis, you win obligatory the Harvest. It is a super assist that outperforms all the others. Once picked, place Harvest face up in front of you. You can sort the cards as you want. For me, I prefer by infusion. The one who won the Harvest becomes the donor for the next round. The round ends when all the wonders have been harvested. That is to say, the six cards that have the value 10. Then, we count the points. We start with the values. Each player or team adds the values of the cards he has collected. Warning! Do not forget that the toxic plants remove 3 points each. Yes, you should not pick up anything! The cards that have not been harvesting during the round do not score any points. We will continue then with the bonuses. The picker card gives a multiplayer bonus for each card of its middle of choice. For example, for Divicha, Divi, Divi, uh, in short, for the Dread, every plant of the forest sees his value doubled. So, if you have collected the birch card, you gain 8 points instead of 4. And for the other, it's the same. Of course, if you have harvested a plant of minus 3 points, uh, it's minus 6. When I tell you that it's not necessary to pick up anything. And we finish it with the infusions. Some plants have colored pictograms who represent infusions. These infusions are common sense compressing at least two plants when we play two or three players, or three plants with four players. Each combination earns 30 points, 10 points more for each extra plant. For example, the stressed bursting tea contains rosemary, angelica, blackcurrant, poppy, and lavender. If you collect three of these five plants, boom, 30 points! And if you have four or five, boom again and you get 10 on 20 points more. Oh yes, I forgot. Whoever collects the Salva Maria won 20 points more. And after 7 rounds, the player or team with the best score wins the victory! What? Almost 4 minutes? It's because of uh, Divicia... Divic... Divic... Divicia? Dread.